This is gross. So how have you been? What's going on? Really? I, I've been good. I uh, So summer break started officially Thursday. And what, what? as of Friday morning, I was already like lost. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> until August. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, I, uh, uh, yeah. what have you been doing? Uh, well, since uh, COVID, I have been working like two hours a day from home. Um, I refer to it as like, I'm in class, but realistically, I'm just staring at myself on Zoom, hoping somebody comes into my class and nobody does. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. Like in the like, yeah, in the like almost two months that I was doing the Zoom classes, I had, uh, I, I saw three different students and uh, only like twice each. So wow. most of it was just me like just sitting here waiting for someone to join. Wow. So um, you just had an obligation every day. Yeah. That's pretty yeah, pretty much. Wow. I mean, the bright side was it was only like two hours. It yeah. was only like a two hour obligation. I didn't have to sit in here for like actual class time length, like a full seven or eight hour day. Yeah. But uh, who would have thought that a bunch of kids who are like in a behavioral school wouldn't do their work when it's up to them to do it, right? Like, right. Yeah, I mean, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <why>. <laughs> it, it almost seems like maybe that was the whole point of what you were doing in general. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah, it is kind of, it is a little confusing to think that maybe, maybe it's not the perfect scenario to teach, uh, to, to yeah, give but them. What do you do? Like, you don't have any options. Give it's kind of yeah. like, <laughs> yeah, you, you kind of, it was like, a, it was a situation where we had to give them the, like, choice, but right. we couldn't enforce it. Right. Like, so we can't, like, give a letter grade. Mm-hmm. Um, we can just. There's so just we're just asterisks. like, yeah, yeah, pretty much like their, their percentage for the year is based on the first three marking periods. And then the fourth one, they just get like a ranking of how engaged they were with right. like distance learning. And, okay. and so uh, what would you grade? I mean, you know, obviously you're not going to give any names or anything like yeah. that. But like I have what, one what student. That, what, what kind of curve would you be grading on for this semester? Let's say. Significant. I have one student who was engaged, <laughs> who I would declare as engaged, mm-hmm. and then I would say the rest were uh, either not engaged or just completely checked out. <laughs> oh. oh, speaking of engaged, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Thank guy, you. Congrats. Yeah, congrats, me. How was Thank it? you. I appreciate uh, so it. You were checking out venues. Uh, how, uh, yeah, how, we had. So, oh, yeah. has this messed up any of your plans? Yeah. Not yet, but that's what kind of today was about. So, like, this was their first day being back in the building, and they just wanted to – they were, like, scheduling times to meet with um, the people who have, like, weddings scheduled there through the future Mm -hmm. Um, just to kind of, like, give us peace of mind but also discuss with us if there were any changes we wanted to make to, like, the date or anything. Yep. Um, And also, too, it's a a new person working there. Like, uh, it's a different lady than the one we originally, like, booked the venue with he's like i have no idea what i'm doing yeah so she <laughs> so, she wanted to also use this as an opportunity to like get to know us and talk yeah. to us about like our vision and the space we want how cool and, like, are you gonna be when stuff. we have to cancel this in a couple months <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly like, how, <laughs> um but yeah so that it was just uh it was like a you know we drove an hour and a half for like a 30 to 45 minute meeting that you know, essentially could have been done like this. Could yeah. have been just Zoom. Yeah, yeah. yeah Karen and I could have sat down, talked yeah. to her on Zoom. and So that's already a strike against. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love the space. So, like, it, they get a couple extra strikes probably. Yeah. Um, but definitely, like, at the end of it, I was like, yeah, that was kind of pointless. Like, it, it was essentially just, don't worry, your date is locked in. If you do want to change your date, you can. And... Uh, what kind of cake do you like? <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> best kind of question. <laughs> Basically, yeah. they're saying, don't worry, we're still a company. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so far, <laughs> still a company. We still got <laughs> cake and everything. We can yeah. give you coconut. Listen, I would be completely stressed yeah. Yeah. if it were me. So I totally get it. Like, at least you have the peace of mind. Like, okay, they said it. It may not come true, but can, yeah. can they reassured it. us. You can always do it in the catech if you need to. Yeah, I appreciate that. We can really, we can get like <laughs> seven or eight people up here. Nice. Total, maybe. That's Help perfect. Cats. We're not going to social distance, maybe 12. And yeah. Then, <laughs> cats. We're going to have cats for hors d'oeuvres. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it, Apollo won't be invited, but you know. Yeah, understandable. Yeah. 
I, uh, I'm just like, originally it felt kind of crazy to be planning a wedding like two and a half years in advance. Like we booked the venue back in like, I don't know, February, I think maybe yeah. begin. Yeah. I think February. Um, and it felt kind of crazy to me to like be that ahead of schedule. And then this all happened and I'm like, Oh, I'm very relieved we're this ahead of schedule. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm very relieved that we're, we are ready never, to take care of a bunch of the shit. It's never yeah. a bad idea to plan. Mm-hmm. Never mm-hmm. a bad plan. Never a bad plan to be prepared. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is that true? Is that, yeah. I don't, I'm trying to think, isn't there, there's gotta be a saying, always be prepared, Probably. but that's like Boy Scouts. But that's yeah. not a, um, that is the Boy Scout motto. They say it. Yeah. They what say are you it. trying to say, Pat? Boy Scouts aren't people. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, they're, they're not really like they're they're an organization. Uh, That's true. Or they Look, were. we're camping. Yeah, it's we're like camping. We're camping. It's beautiful. Guys. I'm gonna rub two sticks together if you know what I'm talking about. You know, our our backgrounds aren't too different. Blue and black. Right, blue yeah. and black, baby, blue. <laughs> <laughs> Very similar. Uh, do uh so like so I guess aside so work's not been great, but like I guess other than that, like have you been able to? You're finding food, you're finding supplies and toilet paper yeah. and all that shit. I mean, at this point, I guess well, toilet paper is not that big of a deal anymore, but are you, no. yeah, exactly. Are you finding our, our regular needs? Are you finding our LaCroix? Are you finding your <laughs> your special mayonnaises and stuff like that? Like, Yeah. The, I mean, the only thing that's really affected up this way still is um, meat is like $2 more than it used to be. But like, that's not that big of a deal. It's yeah. two bucks. Like, And also, Kara doesn't eat like red meat. So... If I'm going to, like, buy a steak for myself, I don't mind paying $11 instead of yeah. Go outside and yeah, yeah, kill yeah. one of them pheasants. That's, That's true. what we're having for dinner tonight that. is steak. Steak? Yeah. Nice. Oh, so good. Two of them. Yeah. I mean, not Two each. Two of them. Like one, no, one yeah. Each. yeah. <laughs> we're doing okay. We're, yeah. We're doing all right. <laughs> we actually, uh, I thankfully, like, right at the beginning of this, I uh, we got a bidet. And uh, yeah, I remember, oh, no, I remember, gonna, awesome. I remember two things because we talked, we actually mm-hmm. talked to you at the, at the very beginning of this. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. When we, we were, we talked about uh, yeah. you had a bidet and not heated. No, not heated, but, but I kind of like it. I know you're, you're a freaky, you're a freaky little <laughs> boy. And then, <laughs> and then <laughs> you're a freaky boy. <laughs> you're a freaky little boy. <laughs> and then, uh, and then there's a, uh, and uh, and I think uh, Kara had just uh, there was a uh, an issue with her job. Do we know? Oh. Is, there, is there any updates on that? Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah she's back to work. Okay. Uh, good 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 good. Doing doing great. Working for uh, the Sunbury Mayor's office. May, I I'm sure she doesn't. I'm not. I won't disparage them on the podcast. Just that's no. who she works for. Yeah, that's yeah. Not, um, an issue. We didn't say who yeah. was, who Kara was. Yeah, but no, she's <laughs> she's back to work doing well. But uh, yeah, Pat, I'm. I'm I like the okay, so this is how I would describe the bidet, even though it doesn't have warm water. Please. Please you know how, review. You know how great it feels jumping into a cold pool on a hot day? Yes. Imagine doing okay. that. But hold on a second. You're saying your butthole's a hot day? <laughs> All the time? Have you seen me? <laughs> it's, it's certainly above room temperature down there. <laughs> Uh, go it's, on, go listen, on. listen. A hot day in my butthole have a few things in common. It's muggy. Ugh. It's damp, probably. I don't like these visuals or these thoughts that you're giving. It's warm to the touch. <laughs> but here's the thing. So, imagine jumping into a pool uh, on a hot summer day. Now, imagine you're doing that just with your asshole. That's what a cold water bidet feels like. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's it it like it's, uh, who's the room? Oh yeah, yeah. we just watched. Yeah. Oh, that was another movie we just watched. Was uh, the disaster? The artist. disaster artist way yeah. better than the room. You the just, room is uh, good. You, you, you sound like Tommy Wiseau. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's amazing, amazing. It's, Greg. Wow. <laughs> it turns you into him too. Oh, hello, it's tearing Greg. me up. It's tearing me up inside. <laughs> yeah, it does. Uh no, it's it's phenomenal. I love it. It like sometimes I don't even have to poop. I just sit down and spray myself because I like a nice refresher. Oh, so you just honestly, I probably would do the same thing. Yeah, that's not a yeah. That's like that's like spritzing yourself in the sink. Yeah. That's... It really is. Yeah, it's like splashing water in your yeah. face, but for your butthole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how nice. how have you been uh, during all the social discourse? I know that uh, we've 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 been learning a lot uh, during a lot of this and uh, and trying to figure out like how to navigate it how to navigate you know what i mean yeah 
it's uh it's obviously there's the 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 message i feel like hasn't changed but the arguments online and and everywhere have have like changed over and over again like obviously i know where you stand you're a big blue lives matter guy love them um, but uh <laughs> but i mean like love really them. and and a and a pretty staunch i mean uh, you have all the hawaiian shirts as well yeah. so like i'm you're, definitely you're, a boogaloo you know, boy family. i've got yeah i don't like that you like i don't like that you know that because yeah. i feel like that's like some hip racist shit <laughs> you gotta <laughs> you know your enemy pat <laughs> i know man but like you're like you're like you got the newsletter <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I I'm a fat, yep, white, yep, man. Jack. Well, who wears? I didn't say masculine. I know. <laughs> Is that what you identify as? <laughs> I'm a fat white man. Okay. I have Hawaiian shirts. Right. So let's uh, hear your view on these Black Lives Matter I, people. I I occasionally have racist looking haircuts. Uh, often occasionally yeah. it's like, you, it's like <laughs> you seek them out it's like again know your Listen, enemy it's like you as, to infiltrate. it's about yeah it's about infiltration but also uh at a certain size there's only so many haircuts that you look decent with you're, you're like what what can thin the face they're like i could just cut all of it off the middle yeah or the long the, the top out real long <laughs> yeah <laughs> like <a> hidden play <laughs> yeah <laughs> That's what uh, get. That'll be socially conscious of you. Just get a kid yeah. to play. Kid to play. Yeah. <laughs> What's a, uh, which one is it? Which uh, is a kid? I think it's. I think it's kid. Okay. Um. I don't know which which person is which. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure kid is the one that has the high fade. Okay. So yeah, get that. Um, okay, I'll I'll be sure to let my barber know that that's what I would like. I like oh, all right, <laughs> bold. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, it's just it's important to know, like, you know, these groups, and you know, it helps being so like, uh, it comes up because of sort of how involved I am. Like, you know, they are the other side. Mm -hmm. So it is kind of a situation where, you know, it's important to be like aware of, of who they are and what they stand for. So you can like, uh, recognize them. You know what I mean? Like if you find yourself in public or something at one of these protests and you see, you see one of these people, you can be aware that, you know, their chances of starting shit are probably a little bit higher than. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah. And it's it. so funny because be I was just talking, we were, we walked down to the grocery store today. And uh, we were talking about, I was like, you know, I, I feel like if I, sh I was joking with Alan and Kirk, I recorded a proper bonics earlier today. And, and I was joking with them after the show, like if I cut my hair, like I can't, there's very few haircuts I can get that people won't think that I'm a white supremacist. I just want like yeah. growing my hair out longer. Like the, hand is, the handlebar doesn't help. That's, but I mean like aside from, okay, so then I'll have a beard. Oh, that helps. You know what I mean? Give me a fucking. <laughs> yeah. Everyone give me a, a navy green, you know, uh, or what is navy green? Uh, d give me a olive. What is it? The camo green, like yeah, olive, bulletproof vest, and like yeah. you know, a couple like my I wear my cell phone on the outside, whatever. But I was like, I'm gonna wear patterns and and Hawaiian shirts and like the like colorful the, the most stuff, colorful yeah. stuff to be like, hey, I'm a cool dude. Hey guys, I'm I'm nice. <laughs> like, I, I wanted, I really wanted to give like I would rather somebody think I'm corny or goofy as shit. Yeah, and a white supremacist, and like I like they ruin flip flops, they ruin yeah. tiki torches, and now they're taking <laughs> Hawaiian shirts. They're really I stand for it. Yeah, they're trying. They're trying to take summer away from the overweight white. People. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're trying to take summer away from us. Yeah, <laughs> as nice people, we're nice people. We're good. Yeah, you are good people. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. You know what I mean? Eventually, yeah. and I, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, what haircuts can you get? What can you do? That's the thing. The yeah, th there's not a ton of options. I shave my head. I look racist. Yeah. <laughs> I, I get the comb over fade. I look racist. Like, yeah. there's nothing I can do. You got a racist face, buddy. Listen, I I get it, man. We live in a world where this is what racism looks like. <laughs> I can't believe, maybe it's the self-hatred, but it's so hard for me to believe that there are people out there who look like this and think they're better than anybody else. Yeah. Yeah, I think like, the thing. I like I, I, when I when I see people, certain people say, like talking shit about that. 
or like like sharing their opinion and you're like oh yeah like yeah well nobody yeah. really needs to know what you're thinking i was literally <laughs> like i when i was waiting for you to send me this link i was like scrolling through social media and i was like i had the thought of like why i've never seen somebody openly racist who is hot like i've never seen an attractive yeah. person be openly racist I mean, there, there's... I've never been to Florida either, though, so maybe that's yeah. what I, my problem is. <laughs> there's certainly not many hot people up here as is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I've never I've never had somebody's attractiveness ruined by them, like, not liking black people. Yeah. Like, a- every single time I see someone share a racist-ass opinion, I'm like, you're, like, you are revolting. I had, like, a, I, <laughs> I had it happen with a porn star with me. Like, there was a, there was really? a thing where, like, I mean, not that I, like, I didn't. It, it, was, it was a situation where it was, like, uh i think it was and it was like trump stuff like it was just that she was like very adamantly pro trump and i'm not a, and i'm not a person that's like either and i wasn't like following her you know what i mean like so it yeah. wasn't like it was like the kind of like the nascar thing like it didn't really affect me yeah like in a, in a way like uh about now Na- i was talking to uh, alan and kirk about the nascar thing earlier uh about uh them uh banning the confederate flag like mm-hmm. it was one of those things of like ultimately i can have feelings about it yay or nay but it was like one of those things of like it really did kind of like take me out of a thing of like wow like legitimately uh, fighting like there was a fighter that like that uh kobe kobe or sorry colby covington is like he's a super duper pro trump guy wears a hat like promotes his uh son's books and stuff like that and like has been to the white house and like i legitimately like i don't like I root against him because of that. Like it's weird things of that. It's like, I try not to, I try not to to let it affect me in that way, but also like, I just think it's such a fucking bad angle at this point. It's not a good, even to Joe, it's not to me, like I said, it's not funny anymore. So like either you really mean this or like, you're actually a fucking terrible dickhead. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like I don't, I'm, I'm, I'm over it. It's not funny to me anymore. So, so like I've had that situation where it's like, where, I like I can't even enjoy because he's a great fighter. It sucks because he's like a really good fighter, and you kind of want to be like, hey, like it would be cool to see him get more fights. But I think he really doesn't fight that much because I think I think a lot of people really hate him. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. They're, Which is yeah, funny because pro- you think more people would want to fight him. <laughs> yeah, well, it's probably like the UFC like protecting him. Like, yeah. like he'll be our first like in ring murder if someone yeah. fights. Him. <laughs> <laughs> But you like know what he, mean? Walk, like, he, he walks like out in a MAGA all. hat and just like, he does. yeah, wow. He has, he has a new, he has the new one. He has the keep America great hat. Jeez. Yeah. And like, he <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's really, it's really annoying, but like, that means he donated to Trump to get that. Did you see that ploy? No, you had. Okay. So a little while ago, Trump came to this Big. area for a, uh, for a rally mm-hmm. and I may or may not have signed up for some tickets just to make sure that there was some empty space there. Mm-hmm. So oh, now I remember, I remember us talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. So now I get like emails from the Trump campaign and for that keep America great hat, like the official one, you had to donate $35 to get the link to buy the hat. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Like you can't even <laughs> just go to his website to buy the hat. You had to donate $35 to the campaign. They re they replied with the link and then you could go buy the $35 hat. Like the pillow thing all over again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm, really I'm sorry, Pat, did that trigger you, your it nectar really experience? Did. I've learned, I've learned a lot and I've, I've changed a lot, Chris. Uh, so <laughs> I'm a lot more, I really would rather. We still you, don't have those pillows. We still don't have the pillows. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Do you guys want to borrow ours? We can split custody. We, we have pillows. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, we, just new ones. we just want the ones that are supposed that to come with the order. We have I was gonna that. say not not to like make you guys want them even more, but they're really good pillows. We need like really I don't believe pillows. you. What kind of pillows they're, are they? You got the cold. We may just have to go buy them. They're they're memory foam pillows, but they're they're made out of the same material the mattress is, but instead of it being like solid, it's full mm-hmm. of like chunks of the foam. So it's like really, really firm and conforms oh, to like your head really well. That you jump yeah. into at the trampoline park. <laughs> yes, yes, it's exactly like that. <laughs> nice. I mean, not maybe not you. I do. Yeah. You know, by by the way, they're open again. Yeah. Do you know, Sky Zone is open. It's so that's so crazy. Like, 
Hershey Park is opening. <laughs> yeah, Hershey yeah. Park is opening at the end of this month. Kenobles is opening next month. That like, I mean, I got mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that's the thing everyone's complaining about. Is Kenobles has said that when they open, they're gonna they're asking patrons to wear masks in the okay. park. Okay. Yeah. Cool. But now people are like, are you gonna have enough medical staff for all the people who faint from heat stroke? It's like, <laughs> I, nope. That's your no. problem. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Stay hydrated, dummy. Yep. <laughs> hey, idiot, do one of these. Hmm? <laughs> Have straws. Yeah, put a yeah. straw under there. A straw. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. There's options. There's it's options. like, it's not that hard to be masked. It's yeah. really the least you could do. Yeah. So, you have to do that one ride that whips us around. That was so fun. <laughs> Which one was that? <laughs> the whip. Uh, the whip. That was the one that you thought was going to be lame, and then you got off. And you're like, that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> you just, it you was guys, like a track. It, it, it maybe it gave me on the track. <laughs> <laughs> gave you amnesia. It whipped you hard. I don't remember because I was like, I remember the haunted house. It's too loose. Yep. I don't. Yeah, I, I juggle my brain, brother. <laughs> oh, I got my brain all running all over the place. <laughs> oh. Yeah. No, I don't. I honestly don't remember. I remember the wooden roller coaster. I remember the. Did you ride? You didn't ride it though, right? No, no. You guys. Yeah. No. Yeah. We went and played games. We we raced horses while you guys while you and Kara rode it. I remember, I whooped your ass one time, mm -hmm. at least, and I think yeah. I all the other ones. <laughs> you won like stuffed animals, like multiple. Yeah. Yeah. Nuts. But uh, the uh, I remember the old car ride that was lame. Uh, yeah. I remember. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Antique house. cars. Yeah, the antique cars. Yeah. I remember the like all that. Stuff. Like I remember a the lot of this. House one was but cool. I really feel like this one gave me fucking C D motherfucking C. <laughs> it does because it's. It just, I don't know what. I can't even <laughs> picture what you're talking. I can picture the one that you're talking about where the the lady, both of the ones that the ladies got married to. Like there was two different ones that people got married to, right? Wasn't yeah. there? Oh yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. every fucking part of this. <laughs> I think you guys are making it up. No, nope. <laughs> no. It was one of the first rides was, we rode. It was so ah! much. Fun. <laughs> I, we even so rode it. I, think, I remember twice. the car ride in. I remember parking. <laughs> I remember the trash can. I remember putting a Buddha Boy sticker on the trash can. I remember getting into the tram and driving over to the front engine. <laughs> okay, you know <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was it? Yeah. <laughs> It's like a. Was it fun? It was yeah, fun. yeah. I can't wait to it, ride it again. You literally, you just go straight, and then it whips you around the corner, and then you go straight again, and it whips you around the corner again, and it just is that for three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I can't don't remember. That so That's funny. so funny. Oh, I remember the hurts. minions whack a mole game. I remember lobster bites. Yes. I remember. Yes. 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 <laughs> Food. Man, oh man, uh, I might have trauma. <laughs> I might have some... But the thing is, is like he said, that was like one of the first things we did. Yeah, like, it really. You remember everything. Everything yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, I think everything that was... else. It might have been the first. Not only was it the first ride we rode, I think we rode it twice because there was like no. Yeah, yeah that, that's the. Yeah. that's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. It canceled out. <laughs> Double negatives. I like. I remember the first one. I was like, "Yeah, that was cool. Let's do it again." And the second time we go, like, "Yeah, like, are we gonna get started or what?" <laughs> oh man! Oh, oh no! <laughs> my poor brain. That explains a lot. Yeah. That so, was fun though. I think. I guess so. I believe you. I believe that I, we should absolutely do Knobles again. We'll wear masks and I'll fucking yeah. watch it this time. I'm going to do it one time. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. No other times for this brain, my friend. Mm -mm. Uh, so, so you've been staying. Uh, so I guess all those places opening back up shouldn't be like it. Sh we'll see two weeks after they open up. Yeah. Yeah. How big of a deal it is. Yeah. Because yeah. it's been, has it been two weeks since the protest started? No, it's oh. been two weeks since Memorial Day, and that's why we're seeing a huge spike right now. Mm. All the Memorial Day picnics and people going to beaches and stuff. So yeah. what do you think this means? Do you think this means they'll just kind of ramp up another half step to go like, all right, we got to go back to where like we're going to make it mandatory? Because like places around here at least are not doing that they, they, they're just places people there's like it's like 60 40 maybe 75 25 people not wearing masks 
around. Yeah. Yeah. Same up here, surprisingly. <laughs> like maybe I, I wouldn't even say fifty fifty. I mean, outside it's it's anybody's fucking nobody's doing what the fuck they're doing whatever the fuck they want. There's yeah. like no there's no there was some big thing going on at the high school. Uh mm-hmm. there was like graduation, graduation probably. Like, uh yeah, yeah. It's like a they were doing like a parade. I mean, but there's yeah. huge groups of people walking around. Yeah. Like no you know what I mean? Like, so hey, whatever. I, I honestly I at this point I really am at the like just you gotta like maybe sign waivers i, I mean like i don't like at this point i, I think I mean, things are just like businesses just have to get used to like some somebody's gonna get sick or uh, we're gonna have a spike and we're gonna have to close yeah, like guess, this is just the new normal of like but do you think it would go to half step or like because like this is a, this is things that these are these are things that are like concerning i think a lot of people as far as like if we have another big spike even before the fall mm-hmm. this is this affects the election because especially a lot of places are not allowing mail in va- ballots mm-hmm. like not a lot of places but that's the new ploy is kind of turning this into if places are on lockdown yeah what do you are, think of all of that stuff yeah. with voting and like what do you like I- I don't even know what to think. <laughs> yeah, well, especially because I think but like with the vote- voting. By the way, I don't know if we should. I don't know. You've uh, you've you've mentioned it once or twice in the past. <laughs> I think that like I think you vote, but like, do you think yeah. that voting and like maybe even like smaller elections is that like important? Yeah, small elections are the most important elections. Oh. Um, but uh, I I don't know what like politicians are thinking when they're like a lot of times. Uh, with like these uh, like with the quarantine what we're seeing is that they are like actually closing and like reducing the number of polling places and it should be the opposite like you should have like what I think they should be doing in November is voting should be multiple days and there should be uh, like double the amount of polling places essentially just so you can like thin out the amount of people voting I did yeah. see that there was one place that uh, opened up that was uh, they made it a national holiday, a paid national yeah, holiday. Uh, yeah, Dayton, Ohio. Yeah, they got rid of Columbus Day and they cha- They moved that bank holiday to uh, <laughs> Election Day. Why not? Yeah, Easy. absolutely. Easy. Yeah, yeah. Don't, but, don't tell the Sopranos. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> they won't like it. <laughs> but yeah, they, I mean. There's no reason you sh- you can't have elections be two days. Like, you just, like, your election officials who are there at the polls, they lock everything up at the end of the night in a safe. They take the keys with them. They come back the next day. They unlock everything. And you just go through the books for people who didn't make it day one. But there should just be, like, there should be uh, things put in place so that, like, it's more you know efficient as on like a medical sense instead of like at like where i vote uh cuz i uh i personally don't exactly trust mail in ballots um so at my polling place they like had us lining up outside and they were only letting like three people in the building to vote at a time which is like okay but it's also off of a highway <laughs> so like it's not super safe to have people lining up, you know, on the shoulder of a road, essentially yeah. waiting to go into a polling place. That's debatable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, believe me, there's a handful of people in this area that could, we could afford to lose, you know, in some sort of vehicular accident. But, <laughs> but it's also like, it just, there should be things, we should be thinking of things to like make it, you know, safer, more effective, more efficient. Yeah. Um, you know, and making voting a like 12 hour window is not necessarily that. Yeah. And and then also like a, like um uh consolidating polling places doesn't help either cuz then you're just putting more people in one space. Yeah, that feels like common sense. Yeah. <laughs> like uh oh, that's crazy. Is it true that it's uh illegal to register to vote? as anything else besides Republican or Democrat in Pennsylvania? It's not illegal, but you can't vote in. No, 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 no. You'll go to jail. (laughs) Really? Yeah. I I, I was going to say, I know. So it seems like you don't really know. I know people who don't 
uh, who are registered uh, independent. Um, but if you're not Republican, name names. If you name names, <laughs> and, and if it's not illegal, then what's the problem, Chris? <laughs> um, so in Pennsylvania, it's not illegal to be, I like other than Republican or Democrat, but you just can't vote in the uh, primary. But why? Like, so I just <laughs> attempted to register to vote. Me too. I did too. <laughs> and I'm, I'm proud of you, Pat. I didn't actually. <laughs> why are you proud of her? Well, because I, you what it, I, ex- I expect it from Dom. It doesn't surprise me if Dom registered to vote because Dom is like a very uh, proactive politically person. That's true. So, so it makes sense to me that she, she would feel an obligation to vote. She buys yes, a lot of positive feel, t-shirts. I, it's she my does. civic duty. She like does. I yeah. need to. <laughs> duty, right. I love Doesn't duty. <laughs> <laughs> we're on the same page here. And we're back to the bidet. <laughs> Cold water. <laughs> Look, <laughs> I'm, I'm very civic and I love duty. So yeah. I think that Hondas are one of the best cars. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Civics and Corollas. Reliable. I'm a big guy. I like, uh, I like uh, everything. So I like to try to help as much as possible. I didn't actually register to vote. Are you still proud of me? <laughs> I'm always proud of you, Pat. Yes. I appreciate the honesty. But so you're enabling. So how yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I how, mean, I think you should register to vote, but I understand not. Okay, no, no. All right. So hypothetically, <laughs> let's say I was some kind of fucking dork that wanted to vote, some like yeah. some nerd that was like totally like a sheeple piece of shit that would wear a mask. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. And vote. Yeah. You don't know what sheeple are? No. They're people that are sheep. If you don't know what a sheeple is, <laughs> you are one. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> He's got it. <laughs> uh, no. It, uh, so hypothetically, if I was a dork that wanted to vote, how would I? And also, can I still <laughs> register to you can, vote? You can vote in the general. You can register now and vote in the general in November. Like, with like Shaq's friend. Yeah. 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 It. it Great car insurance rates. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, <laughs> go I mean, to the general. Oh, okay. Time. I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody doesn't watch TV commercials all day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Somebody's got a day job. <laughs> uh, but okay, so I attempted. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it was so difficult. So they said you can register online. Mm-hmm. Easy. All you have to do is fill this all out. And then it'll use my electronic signature from my driver's license. Mm-hmm. And every time I try to do it, it's invalid. Hmm. I have no idea why. I, yeah, like, I double checked everything. I'm like, this is my driver's license. It's a valid driver's license. I don't know why I it's really not hope, working. I, by the way, when she was explaining to, uh, this to me earlier, because she started asking me, and I was like, what the fuck do I know? <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of telling you because oh. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> you don't right, know. Good. Well, yeah, yeah I don't. Because, yeah, yeah. But, but she's saying this stuff, and she's going like, "Oh, she's like, oh yeah, social security number, Mike, uh, blah blah blah." And I was like, "I really hope she didn't fucking go to some scam website and just no. continue to enter her over and over yeah. and over." Oh again. my god! Like, uh, yeah, we got <laughs> it, lady. Like, we're in, gonna steal your identity. Hold on a second. <laughs> didn't put in my whole social security number. Which? How much did you put in? Just the last four. Mm, they could guess the first five. Yeah, they're pretty good at it. <laughs> they could be they could be anything. Probably just your date of birth or something. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, it's, 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 but it's it's one of those things that like uh it, it, why why make it so hard? Right. And is it is are we actually able to register online or are we doomed to die in well, our home not being able to vote without masks? Yeah, I mean you should be able to vote online. I know people who have done it, so I'm not sure what the issue would be. Um Unless you're already registered to vote, possibly. Um, like, were you registered to vote in Florida? No, I've never, ever, I've, ever. Um, I, I was registered, but I, but I've, I mean. I printed it out because it said, if not, just print it out and then mail, mail it in, in or, okay. or drop it off. Did so you I check your voter out. registration status? No, I don't know how to do that. Okay, um, I will, I'll text Pat a link when we're done with this and okay. you can go check your voter registration status because it could just be a situation where <clears throat> a lot of people who don't think they're registered to vote forgot that they did it when they got their driver's license. Um, so it could oh, possibly okay. be just that you did register to vote. And literally, you just, just a, you just check a box? Yeah, like when you, 
when you get your driver's license and they're like taking all of your info and like yeah. you get a little prompt on the screen would you like to register to vote today you pick your party uh-huh. and that's it yeah, but I don't think I would have done that accidentally. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, well, no, but it's li- that doesn't it, sound like me. I it's not it's accidentally though. It's literally you just right. hit two buttons. Like literally, it's just like, do you want to register to vote? Yes. Select your party affiliation. Boom, and then you registered. Mm. Like that's how I registered when I was when I got my license. Yeah, um, I don't know. I'll check that. Yeah, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, just to make sure, because that could be the issue is that it, you're like trying to register in the system. The system's like, you're already registered. Yeah. <laughs> you're here already, all yeah. right? <laughs> I, think, yeah. I, I think maybe after like your sixth or seventh time trying, they should be like, all right, you're not going to be allowed to vote anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You don't fucking Definitely get it. Definitely not electronically. <laughs> yeah. we, revoke, we revoke your right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, well, uh, Chris, as you know, I'm a I'm somebody who absolutely hates books to my yes. core. Uh, I'm someone who hates them everywhere. But there is one book that I allow in the house, and it's uh this one here. It's if double ellipses. <laughs> that book is right. thinner than I remember it. Yeah, it's no, it's I mean, it's what do you mean? I don't know. If I re- I remember it. it being like a heftier book when oh, I used to come book. to the cabin to record. Book. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. is a different one. This one is from Evelyn McFarlane and James Saywell. And uh, okay. and we picked a couple questions just at random uh, that we thought would be fun. These are these are a nice. Uh, these this is you pick. You, you can do both of them if you want. Okay. If you could choose the very last thing you would see before you die, what would it be? Uh, ever like it can can it be it can be anything. See, I would say anything and see, not touch. I believe because I was, I was like, first boobs. of all, yeah, it was gonna be, it was gonna be boobs. It was gonna be boobs either way. Right? Selma Hayek's boobs. Yeah, <laughs> boobs. Yeah, right. Oh, is that your answer? No, I think my answer would be uh, Katy Perry's boobs. Katy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You like choose you, the very last. You thing use it you for would one that like you die. Use it like naked boobs. Yeah. Yeah. So you use it as like a wish almost. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Like oh some, man. I've something seen something I've Max boob though. I mean they're spectacular. Yeah, for All sure. Well, that's what I was thinking. When I said some high at first, I'm like, wait a minute, I've seen those. So definitely those in movies. Yeah, Katy Perry's ever elusive boobs, especially now that she's pregnant. They're probably crazy right now. Oh yeah, they probably are. Yeah. You may yeah, you may accidentally see that. Like like yeah. she she may <laughs> Like it might just like pop out or something like that. I've heard pregnant boobs can be un- unruly. What, what about you? whose boobs would you want to see? Wife? I have no idea. Yeah, I think of dream boobs. I mean, obviously, you know. Yeah. I mean, you see them every day, multiple right. times a day. Yeah. And they're spectacular. <laughs> Thank you. But like the last thing ever. I like this wish idea. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I was I honestly I was thinking of like a a scenic view. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was where my mind went. But now that it's like a wish, it's a like nude beach. if I could have anything, <laughs> I would like I would die knowing that I was a wizard and <laughs> Harry Potter is real. <laughs> that that uh, reminds me of yes. that's so uh, God, that reminds me of when I was like seven years old. <laughs> my mom, I think my mom, this was when my mom was right on the cusp of Munchausen by proxy. Got it. She oh. like, she like sat me down Holy and she, <laughs> she sat me down and said, if you were a make a wish kid, what would your wish be? And I said to be Spider-Man. <laughs> oh, man you were a spider-man kid before batman kid was a thing yeah and, and she goes she goes no like it's got to be something real <laughs> <laughs> like real okay what? so not dying from cancer yeah <laughs> oh, no 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 come on come on something for real for real like stop, stop fucking around like oatmeal what kind of oatmeal do you want <laughs> You want like special pizza? We'll get supreme this time, okay? Yeah. <laughs> With the hot dogs and the cheese and the crusts. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of want to see pizza now. I uh, I don't know. <sighs> a scenic view would be nice. Like a nice, quiet, like, you know that there's like this yes. one... Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, I, I was gonna say if I'm not picking like boobs, I would say the Northern Lights. <laughs> that would be a great thing. Oh, I, yeah. I've always wanted to see the Northern Lights like in person. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I think something like that. Like, or there's always there's always like one s- specific street that I see. It's, I I feel like it, I never actually like go to, to the person's page, 
<laughs> but it's in my Whoa. it's in my Instagram feed mm-hmm. of uh this like uh like wolf dog like this uh like walking down it looks like Alaska but it might be like Norway or something and it's a street and then like and then like like pan up and it's like this beautiful mountain view and the, like the like oat like the water is so beautiful and like something like that like a scenic view like that yeah or, yeah or like or, a, yeah. or like well, a celebrity <laughs> boob at the time <laughs> my like my Katy Perry like peak boobs choice Katy because Perry like boobs are like that and this, is, you nailed you hit the nail right on the head almost immediately. Well, and I'm also thinking like in this scenario, heaven is real, and I get to go into heaven with that just like in my mind for forever. Like yeah. if only I had an imagination, you know <laughs> what I mean? Like if only I could actually keep that image with me, I would just be sure. thinking for the for eternity. Boy, oh boy, those boobs. But you're hoping <laughs> you're you're hoping it's saved in the cloud. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> this guy over here. <laughs> uh, what's the, what's the other one that you liked? Um, if you were to be cremated, where would you want your ashes scattered? That's a Big good Lebowski, one. Yeah, Big Lebowski style. Yeah, Katy Perry's boobs. Yeah, I, w- I <laughs> would want to boobs. Yes, <laughs> yes. I would want to be, be like a, a weird fetish or something like that. <laughs> yeah, I would want to be doused on Katy Perry's pregnant boobs. Um, now I think, hmm, I don't know. The, I think I would just kind of want to be like, uh, I would want my ashes scattered into just the wind anywhere, kind of just to become part of like the rest of the world after I die would be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. No specific place, no specific, you know, scenery or anything like that. Literally just like fucking LeBron James, cut your hands in him, throw him up in the air and let me go. Yeah. So, but, but outdoors. Not, yeah. not, not, not in a basketball not court. In no. I don't, <laughs> Did you I don't, watch any of that, the, the Jordan documentary? I haven't yet. No, I, I, I'm not the biggest fan of Michael Jordan. I got to tell you. Really? Why? I, I, well, like, are you not a fan of his? Like you, you like actively don't like him? Or is it that you're just not that? aware of his you you just not that you just don't really yeah i mean like i'm a, i'm a basketball fan but like uh when i was a kid it was towards the end of jordan's career um you know it was baseball and then the last few years of jordan um and uh i just i don't i don't know it's you know maybe it's the like uh the hipster teenager in me still but it's just like yeah i I appreciate how fantastic he was at basketball, but like, you know, other than that, I don't care about him very much. Like he was good. He was definitely the greatest, you know, of all time in basketball so far, but there are plenty of players. I like more like I love, I like Dennis Rodman. Even I love way more than I like Jordan worm. That guy's a worm. That's He's got a good awesome. story hit. Now his documentary is a good one. Do you think so? He's the ambassador to Korea. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. North Korea. He, uh, I think his was a 30 for 30, but uh, it, it talked about like how uh, he grew up in like a fa- like a family where all of his sisters, uh, he was the only boy and his sisters were like phenomenal athletes and he kind of sucked. And he also didn't hit his growth spurt until his senior year of high school. Oh. So he was like, he was like five foot seven. And then suddenly he was like six, four. And then he married um, Armin Electra. <laughs> yeah, uh, that year. Yeah, no. um, <laughs> it, was no, a, but it was a couple years later. He uh, he like ended up not going to college right away, and then got like pseudo adopted by a college basketball coach, and like started playing. And his story is just like one that was really uh, it's inspiring as like a a tale of like um, success in the face of adversity, and like kind of it's a lot like uh, Mike Tyson's like that, like, like, yeah, kinda, like but, the adopting by the coach kind of thing. And like, he also like got a lot of shit in the nineties for crying on live television when he got defensive player of the year award. Like he, he sobbed as he got the award and people are like, what a black guy <laughs> sobbing on TV. What the fuck? The great accomplishment. Yeah. Yeah. You, like, Feel you, it. Yeah. He worked hard for it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he was an emotional guy since the beginning. Yeah. That's why. You yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It right. resonates. Plus. Yeah. Plus, you know, who doesn't want hard work and perseverance? <laughs> <laughs> well, also too. I mean, <clears throat> I. You know, I. Uh, I'm a little envious that Michael Jordan was able to so easily get his dad murdered. 
Yeah. I mean, I don't know if that was exactly what it was. I think it <laughs> might have been a punishment or anything like that. Uh, Listen, maybe- all I'm saying is if there are any mafias out there that need me to get into some debt so my dad can be taken care of, I'll do it. Oh, I think you just need to borrow money. <laughs> yeah. I that's what uh, it, I think that's, yeah. if it, like, that was what we speculated. Helpful. I think it was either gambling debts or, yeah. let's see, have you seen uh, Uncut Gems yet? No, 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 I haven't. I really want to see that too, though. It looks There's, so good. It's on Netflix. It's a very interesting story. Yeah, it's on Netflix. Uh, you should, you should oh, it, that's awesome. I'll probably watch it this week then. It's, yeah. it's definitely, it's, it's worth a watch. It's a really good movie. It's, it's just such a grimy, gross fucking movie. You know what yeah. I mean? Like the, like the setting of it, like is, yeah. you can't really, but it's like, it's, it's such a quality, like it gave really. Me some, it gave me some anxiety. Like there's some stuff there just like, are, what are you doing? I was going to say, that's <laughs> what I've heard a lot of is that like people who have anxiety disorders are like triggered a little bit by stuff in it. Yeah. But yeah. like watch it to the end. It's, it's like the whole, the whole, it, it's just. It's not even like it's not not I can't even say it's like it's a satisfying, cool, like I don't know kind how of. to explain it. It's it kind just, of just like, yep, well, yep, all right. There you go. <laughs> There's the end of the movie. You know? <laughs> it's one of those things. Yeah. No peaceful resolution. I don't yeah. know. You know what I mean? Like it depends. I, like I really think it's perspective wise. Like perspective wise, I think it would be because I watched the Jordan documentary and was like motivated like was like kind of like <laughs> was like holy shit like i'm like retroactively a fan of his but like but like not a fan i don't fucking i still do not give two shits about basketball and like but like as far as like his mental yeah like the mental like i don't know man like the like the whole thing of like being able to perform i think his performance uh results were what i'm most dazzled by the yeah, fact that absolutely. he's able to do what he's able to do to do that again it, uh i just watched uh uh amanda nunez like mm. the ufc's been like back for a little bit so it's been really cool that i've been able to like wait is there one tonight yeah there is one tonight yeah um so there's uh and it's, it's actually a uh, ladies uh headliners again but this was uh ufc 250 i watched uh nunez against uh uh shit alicia spencer and that was the one where the fellow with the rainbow hair fought too, right? Yeah. Yeah, you like him, don't you? <laughs> he's you're, fun. You're, you think about him when you're on the bidet, don't you? <laughs> Dude, he's, he's fucking, he's really good. He's, he's yeah. he is him and uh, another guy that kind of looks like him, little curly-headed white boy, uh, uh, who, uh, Sean, not, that's, Sugar, that's Sean O'Malley is who you're talking about. Yeah. He knocked that guy. dude out very fast. Dude, mm-hmm. did you see Cody Garbrandt's? No, Cody. I didn't see that. Cody. Cody Garbrandt. Uh, 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 Cody. He's a co-headliner. He fucking oh. right hand. Uh, just boom. From, right from the hip, dude. <laughs> 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 he, uh, it was awesome. It was, it was like a, it was to that. That was like, seriously, I don't fucking care. I don't need fans. I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, that is, I am fine with this. Then they're going to send, they're going to start doing fight Island. They're going to do other ones, but this main event, like, I, I, you know, you know, I know I've said it many times when we've podcasted before on the Buddha boys and, and GDP. Anytime I talk about MMA, I love mm-hmm. Anderson Silva. Mm-hmm. I think he's like, he's my favorite. And there's been a lot of speculation, like, just like Jordan of like, like, who's the goat, who's the goat. And a lot of times people are like, it's, it's definitely Mike Jordan, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Mike Jordan, Mike Jordan. Yeah. Mike Jordan. Yeah. I, ah. I'm in accounting. Hey. Yeah. yeah. Mike Jordan. Yeah, he, he owns a used car store in yeah. uh, Manitoba. Yep. Nope. <laughs> not that one. Nope. <laughs> Different Mike Jordan Mike now. Mike Jordan. Hello. Uh, but I, I think there's a, um, I think, would you mind closing the windows? <laughs> or oh, no, I could probably yeah, do it. I'm, I'm stuck. Right. I got the SpongeBob ice cream truck guy here. <laughs> oh, that is that another one not. too. SpongeBob's gay now. Is he? What? Nickelodeon came out and officially said he's gay. Yeah. Oh wow, that's cool. Good yeah, right. Yeah. Um, but no, there's a there's a uh, like Amanda Nunes was the main event, and and there was like a level of professional like, there like it's so much above, and also defended her title. She's a two division champion, has defended her championship in both divisions, and and that is the first fighter ever to do that. And and if you watch this fight, it would be it's it is insane, like how one sided it was. And you're like, and then like literally like in the second to last round, they were like, 
who's who's next? Like who who like who who's gonna be like not like Bill Gold, Gold, Goldberg style, but like uh, mm-hmm. but like what the fuck is like who I that level of like excellence to see that kind of thing? It's like it's really cool to see, and I wish I would have paid more attention in when I was younger to to that to see that live at least. Like you said, it's cool. Yeah. It, it would have been cool to experience it live, but I think I was always even at that time I was uh even. I was aware of it, but I was still more of like, Oh, I like Scotty Pippen. He's, he's, yeah. a you know what I mean? Like <laughs> I just focus on the guy who's like focused on this thing. There's something about that level of like excellence that I find is inspiring. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I completely agree. Like uh, it's one of like, and I definitely think if I was alive for like all of Jordan's career, I'd feel way differently about him. All of Jordan but- is one of my favorite restaurants. <laughs> 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 but just catching the tail end you hear, you're never gonna win because it's gonna be <laughs> <laughs> he just stands at your table side and every time they try to put your food down he pushes it back yeah, he's just like nope and then he eats <laughs> <laughs> um <clears throat> but like i feel the same way about like tom brady you know what i mean like no matter people love to hate tom brady and like fucking brady i also like as as a an eagles fan I hate Tom Brady, but as a football fan, like I recognize that he is probably greatest quarterback of all time. Like yeah. J- John Elway, Joe Montana, you've got other guys in there too. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the Miami Dolphin, Dan Marino. Yeah, yeah, Mark Sanchez, old butt fumble. Yeah. <clears throat> but Man, like, how is his legacy? Didn't he? <laughs> did he win a Heisman? Uh, in college. I don't think he won the Heisman, but I think he lost out to like Reggie Bush or something, like somebody pretty good. Kardashian but. guy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, way hey, better than butt fumble. That's butt fucker. Butt fucker. But I definitely think though that like Tom Brady is the NFL equivalent of Jordan. You know what I mean? Like yeah. Commanding the field, effortlessly, yeah. effortlessly same thing like with Sidney Crosby. Yeah, Everybody yeah, it's him. Yeah. yeah, so good. Yeah, it, it's it's sucks just that level <laughs> that level where you're like mentally just overall you can just kind of do all of it. Mm-hmm. Like you just yeah. and it's like and you make it. I mean, you you know it's not effortless, and it it is a, a like there's some part of their life if not you know that like it looks perfect and it's probably great. But also, like Tom Brady's also been accused of like drinking baby's blood. Yeah, you know what I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, there's like also those things that people and like people aren't exactly like going like, like people's reaction is like initially like maybe, yeah, maybe that's <laughs> He's, what like, it is. So much better than everybody else. You're just like fuck. Maybe I don't know. Well, Belichick uh, definitely is doing it. But, and like, I think one thing that like is really incredible about like athletes at that level is like you see the way they change their game with the way they have to play. You know what I mean? Like top, like early Tom Brady and Tom Brady now are two totally different people because like he doesn't have the arm that he used to. But one thing that has improved because he doesn't have the arm is he's a little more mobile than he was, which is like the opposite of what you see. Like most quarterbacks become less mobile as they get older, but he's better at like stepping up out of the pocket and stuff like that and getting a pass off, Um, you know, or his ball carrier vision is like insanely good. He, you know, he can, <laughs> I was waiting for it, Pat. <laughs> um, ball carrier vision. But, I mean, come but, on. <laughs> just seeing the way that like their game changed with like their age and like how the sport itself changed. Yeah. Is like very uh, just evident of, of them being just the best there is in the sport. She's been a she's been a hater of a, a lot of some of the great. I mean, like she loved she was a big rowdy uh, rowdy ugh, rowdy. I don't know what I was calling her by her wrestling name. Yeah, uh, Ronda yeah. Rousey. Yeah, but, uh, Ronda Rousey. Uh, <laughs> and but you got in a little late, and then immediately got in heart got heartbroken. Like yeah, it was like a, a situation where it was not not that I wouldn't say that you were even bandwagon fan but you were just a late adopter like you were like holy shit this is amazing how how awesome and then you're like shit and then <laughs> holly <laughs> kicks her in the head then amanda nunez punches her in the head i mean it's just like you just didn't have any luck and she doesn't <laughs> like wrestling so it's just like fuck you're not inspiring to me anymore dickhead like <laughs> like what you did was great but like it sucks also because like i mean really 
I feel like you should feel less bad about her getting beat by Amanda Nunes because, like, now you can see, like, she really is fucking the greatest. Like, there, it's not even close. Oh, look. <laughs> hey, buddy. That's a straight asshole at first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check that out. Check it out. The day this, <laughs> yeah, bitch. <laughs> hey, buddy. What are you doing? I was going to scare him away, but he got up on the table. Now he can't. <laughs> now he's just kind of here. Yep. Are you hungry? I think it's almost kitty food time. Oh, yeah, oh, it that's is. what it is. Is that what it is? <laughs> Great appearance by Dobby. His alarm went off. Yeah. Yep. I'm surprised he's not meowing. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's, he's polite enough to not meow while you're recording. Yeah. Isn't yeah. that nice? Yeah, he knows. So nice of you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, uh, so have you done any, like, Zoom comedy shows or anything like that? Uh, I have, I have, like, a hybrid one coming up this week. I haven't done any, like... Um, I've done open mics and stuff, but no like actual shows. Yeah. <laughs> um, the one I'm doing this Friday or not this Friday, next Saturday, actually the 20th. Okay. Um, yeah, this will is... be out on Monday. This will be out. On okay. Monday. So on the 20th, um, I'll be doing one in, I don't know, I think Muncie or something like that here in PA. Um, but it will be, um, uh, live streamed as well as we're going to have about 12 people in person because that's like how many will be able to like fit um, safely while social distancing and stuff. Nice. Um, so that one is going to be kind of both, but we're going to be doing, <clears throat> I said, um, I'm going to take my soundboard so we can uh, hook right into whatever laptop we're streaming from. Yeah. So that way the people who are watching at home are like hearing us at our actual mic audio and not like uh, hearing like a comedian, you know, fifteen feet away from a computer, right? Yeah, yeah. Have their jokes projected. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Well, uh, uh, whenever that is, follow Chris uh, yeah. at Wiki Romano on all social media, baby. Social media. This is uh, at Wife George over there. Sorry, not that one. That's that's Dobby actually right there. I want to make sure. There we go. Got a nice. Picture. <laughs> I was trying to get that earlier. You probably definitely heard that. Uh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> at, uh, PG Comedian for me. And uh, hey, buddy, thanks for doing the show. Yes, thanks, thanks for so having much. me. It was so nice talking to you. We love it was you. great talking to you guys. We, I love you. Bruce.